Welcome to Sunday Brunch with Moppy, America's oldest and finest Ayurvedic company. I'm Sean Diddy, one of your hosts, and uh, I have been a certified health coach through the American Council on Exercise for over 20 years. And Shankar, I know you've been uh, in the wellness uh, area for over 20 years as well. You might recognize me from, well, over a decade on TV. So we are very glad to be here with you. In fact, at Sunday Brunch, we are serving up weekly wellness talks about the ancient science of Ayurvedic cooking, eating, herbs, and lifestyle. And we are so glad you're with us this week. Uh, again, I'm here with Shankari Wegman, PhD, uh, mm -hmm. and also Ayurvedic wellness practitioner. You're a lecturer. Thanks. It's just such an honor to have mm -hmm. you and your knowledge with us for brunch. It's such a joy to be here with you, Sean. Thank you so much. We love it. Well, as many of you know, Ayurveda is a natural wellness system that's been used in India for thousands of years. And if you're new to Maharishi Ayurveda Products International, or MAPI for short, I will give you just a little background. Uh, MAPI has been offering, uh, again, Ayurvedic products, um, safe, effective, authentic, all natural Ayurvedic supplements, uh, lifestyle and wellness products since the mid 1980s. Uh, they're also really big on education. And that's why we're here really today is Ayurveda is a, a lifestyle that a lot of us are learning about. You may be very familiar with it. This might be partially new to you. So we bring experts together as Moppy finds it really important to help share the lifestyle with you and help share the information with you. And that's why we're here today. Well, this Sunday, we're actually going to be talking with someone who has been with Moppy since the very beginning. And our topic is what scientists are learning about ancient Ayurvedic herbs and immunity. It seems like immunity is on the minds of a lot of us right. lately. Now remember, Moppy does not provide medical advice or diagnosis or treatment. So the information that you get today is not to be considered medical advice. Uh, it's information is, again, education. If you do have some questions regarding a specific medical condition, please do consult your physician or your favorite healthcare practitioner. And again, Shankari Wegman uh, has a PhD uh, from Maharishi International University. You are a well-known Ayurvedic specialist, Ayurvedic practitioner. Well, I don't know about that, but it's, it's uh, a pleasure to be we, here. We are <laughs> so respected and a busy mom. So you really look at this from the real life perspective. So with that, I'm going to be manning the questions. Um, so I'll pop back in with those. But again, I'm going to turn this over to my esteemed co-host because I know, again, today's guest is very important to you. So uh, I will have you introduce him. Wonderful. And, and, uh, and he is Vaija Manahar, so you can go ahead and unmute uh, Vaija. So it is an honor, an absolute honor, a pure delight for me to be able to introduce uh, Vaidya Manahar Palakripi, PhD, who is a world leading expert in pulse diagnosis. He's an amazing pulse diagnostician and is the creator of the Advanced Pulse Course for practitioners. And Vaidya Manahar is in the process of creating an Advanced Pulse Course Part Two. Um, you might hear me refer to Lady Manohar's Vaidya. Vaidya is an Ayurvedic expert. I might also say Vaidya G. G means respect. Um, so Vaidya G. Vaidya Manohar has worked directly with uh, Marshi Mahesh Yogi, the founder of Mavi, um, for decades. He's provided over 50,000 clinical consultations for patients in his 40 years of practice. He was trained and worked with world experts such as Vaidya Balrav Marhi, who is a world leading expert in the science of herbology, Raj Vaidya Brahaspati Dev Tribunaji, who is a world leading expert in pulse diagnosis, Vaidya VM Devedi, who's a world leading expert in mineral and metal preparations. And he's a founding technical director of Mapi India, a founding clinical director of the Raj Ayurvedic Health Spa in Fairfield, Iowa, as well as clinical director in Lancaster, Massachusetts, Pacific Palisades, California, the March. Ayurveda Center in Japan. Um, he has helped to research and formulate numerous preparations for Mapi. He's an expert in Panchakarma, aromatherapy, pulse diagnosis. 
He's created curriculum for the Ayurvedic Medical Association and also for Marshy European Research uh, University in Holland and curriculum for doctors uh, courses. He's trained over a thousand medical doctors in Marshy Ayurveda, um, taught in Europe, USA, Japan, all over. And uh, right now he is also the clinical professor and clinical director for the Integrative Wellness Center in Marshy International University, where he is beloved by his students. Um, I feel so fortunate to be able to introduce Vaidya Manohar. He is my teacher, um, will always be my, my mentor uh, since 1998. And um, being with him is always uh, enjoying knowledge. You know, you go so deep into the knowledge and it's so deeply, such an honor for me to introduce Vaidya Manohar. Um, Baby G, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Um, and just to begin with, ABG, you know, just in talking about herbs, I was wondering if you could just talk a little bit about the philosophy of herbs and herbal supplements, because you see them so much in the market these days, these Ayurvedic herbal supplements. So what is really the philosophy of herbs and herbal supplements, Beijing? Beautiful, thank you. Dr. Shrinkari and Dr. <laughs> Sham, uh, going to be a doctor soon, PhD after the completion of her PhD. So it's a honor and also I'm privileged to be in this small talk. <clears throat> so answer to your question, yes. Everything is uh, health. Nowadays, health consciousness. What is health? Health means wholeness. What is disease? A disruption in wholeness is disease. Mm -hmm. So, what is the role of herbs in this concept of health? For restoring health, there are four components. One is physician, second one is herb, third one is attendant, Fourth one is the client himself. Mm. If these four coming together as a function, as a unity, then health is restored. So the herb is a part and parcel of in this four components of health. But regarding health, uh, regarding herb, <clears throat> how to understand herb according to Ayurveda. Mm -hmm. The herbs are called Oshadis. Oshadis means Osha means bright. Di means intelligence. The bright intelligence. This is the definition for herb. So the body is made of pure intelligence. The structure of the physiology is a precipitation of the, the pure consciousness. And the core nature of health is the pure intelligence. If any disease, discomfort is due to the loss of intelligence in the physiology in a particular area. So the herbal formulas are like a pockets of intelligence. These pockets of intelligence will restore balance where the intelligence is missing in the physiology, creating a disease or discomfort, restoring balance. How? And creating the similar intelligence in the concept of health. This is how to understand the herbal structure and also the nature. But also saying that in Ayurveda Samhitas, there are four qualities mentioned, the ideal herb. What are those four qualities? Bahukalpam, bahugunam, sampannam, yogyam. Bahukalpam. That means whatever herbs 
available with anyone. That particular herb to be used in many formulas. Bahuka. That means that herb is very popular. That's why this particular herb is used in many formulas. Next one is Bahugunam. Bahugunam means every herb supposed to have rich qualities. Mm. Every herb is supposed to have five qualities. Rasa, Guna, Virya, Vipaka, Prabhava. Rasa means uh, the taste. Guna means a specific qualities, dry, unctuous, smooth, or soft, or hard, those qualities. Mm. Vipaka means post to digestive effect. Virya means potency. Prabhava means specific effect. All these uh, five qualities supposed to be in its richness. Mm. The next is uh, Bahu Sampannam. Sampannam means uh, these herbs supposed to be grown in particular land, particular atmosphere, particular season, so that uh, all this richness comes into these herbs. Yogyam. Yogyam means uh, the herbal preparations or these pockets of intelligence uh, supposed to perform its a natural duty. That duty is to restore balance. Right. These four qualities supposed to have in every herb. Mm. Okay. Thank you. That was that was so beautiful, especially how you described it as pockets of intelligence and really expanding the understanding of all the different aspects of the herb that make it so powerful and, and versatile. Um, there are some Ayurvedic herbs that are really becoming popular in the market currently, like ashwagandha, uh, amla berry, uh, turmeric. They're increasingly in so many products. Um, can you speak a little bit about, for example, ashwagandha? You can even find it in the, in the grocery store in gummies. Um, could you talk a little bit about that, Vaiji, about ashwagandha? Ashwagandha is very popular herb. Mm -hmm. uh, in India, it's uh, like uh, a medicine or it is a, a herbal preparation or a herb it is used if the, there is no name for the disease. That means it could be used in any condition. So it has that uh, rich quality to help to restore balance in any person with any disease. That's the nature of ashwagandha. And it is uh, almost four or 5,000 years old herb. Eternally, it is continuing its benefits and it is contributing its benefits to the whole mankind. And also some people it's called, they call Indian ginseng. Mm. But it's Hmm. It is more than ginseng. Ginseng <laughs> uh, uh, has its own nature, but ashwagandha is very ancient and eternal, and also it's continued its effect to give beneficial effects to the mankind. And main benefits of ashwagandha are studied empirical studies mainly adaptogenic and diuretic, anti-inflammatory, sedative, anxiolytic, cytotoxic, anti-tissue, and immunomodulatory effects. These are all effects uh, studied in empirical studies by Peter T. White, Chitra Subramanyam, Hashim F. Motiwala, and Mark S. Cohen. In their study, they seen there are a lot of benefits in these conditions. Balancing effect, enhancing these effects in the physiology, so and also mind. Mm. It is also balancing mental and physical fatigue, rejuvenates the nervous system, and the mind rejuvenates the sleep and balancing the stress. So mm. it's a very wonderful. Herb, very popular. 
And they, 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 sometimes they can also be seen in gummy form. Is there, can you talk a little bit about how that's this? Yeah, still the uh, latest uh, concept to bring yeah. the herbal preparations in the gummy form. And uh, contains uh, often non-organic, high in sugar, right. artificial uh, or natural colors, flavors, uh, gelatin or vegan equivalent plant extracts are coming with in the form of gummies. So we need to see this is a complete a modern uh, concept and now the gummy preparation. Uh, I, I have to say, uh, I just, that question was directed sort of toward me because we're friends and she knows that I had gummy versions of supplements at my house. And so Shankari has explained to me why there's there's a better delivery system. So thank you for, for confirming that. And, and do you, um, I, I wanna tell you that several people have popped in to say hello specifically. Um, so, uh, Sue says hello, Neil says hello. Um, we have some great questions and people uh, are asking, of course, yes, we will have a transcript and the replay is going to have um, captions on it because I know we're talking quickly and we're bringing in a lot of Sanskrit words. So just stay with us and we'll make sure we talk through that. Um, but I, I'm gonna turn it back to you and get a couple of questions ready by just so maybe after your next question, just know that we will have a question from the audience. And again, several more people just popping in to say hello and Ray that G. they're happy to be here. Yeah, Ray G is so beloved all over the world. Um, you know, so many people know Ray G and love him because of his immense knowledge and immense heart. Um, so it's just wonderful, Reiji. We'll have to share all of everyone's hellos with you. Um, just one other question, Reiji, just on this topic of herbs. Um, could you talk a little bit also, Reiji, about uh, amla berry? Amla berry is another increasing popular herb that's out there, uh, Indian gooseberry or amalaki. It has you know, a lot of vitamin C. And so a lot of wellness companies are putting amla berry into their products. Could you talk a little bit about amla berry uh, also, Reiji? So the name and form, amla, amla means absence of impurities. So when you take this uh, herb, it balances all the impurities in the physiology. And it is uh, one of the berry, as uh, all the world knows now the importance of the berries for health and antioxidants, nature. Samla berry is the uh, same, 5,000 years old. Eternally, it is continuing. It is one of the oldest herb. Excellent uh, rejuvenating effect, antioxidant effect. And also it has a uh, and cooling, cooling effect and uh, uh, balancing hemorrhage and balancing burning sensation, balancing uh, eye vision and uh, very uh, rich herb to nourish the hair, skin, and cell rejuvenation. And uh, one of the important uh, rasayana, very popular rasayana is Chavan Prash. He's made of amla berry. Mm -hmm. Amla berry is an uh, excellent rasayana for all seven tissues. Rasayana means rejuvenating. Not only that, amla berry is excellent uh, Rasayana for Vojas. Vojas is like a manifest state of consciousness, rejuvenating that wholeness expression within the physiology. So it is adaptogenic and anti atherosclerotic, cardio, gastro, nephro, and neuroprotective and chemo preventive, radio and chemo modulatory and anti metagenic. These are all different studies have been studied on amla berry and shown some beneficial effects. So that's why it is an excellent Rasayana herb, especially to be taken by anyone mm -hmm. because amla berry has five tastes. According to Ayurveda, whole nutrition based on the six tastes. Mm -hmm. Amla berry has five tastes except salt. So just taking one simple amla berry tablet is going to nourish five days. That means that the maximum nutrition and maximum contentment to the tissues will be gained. That's why 
it is a herb could be taken regularly by anyone vata prakriti pitta prakriti kapha prakriti irrespective of the body type it could be taken beautiful reji that's that's such a beautiful um wholeness and it shows the power and versatility of amla berry Sean, yeah, i do uh, yeah. we have a question from someone who says uh who asked Vijay, would you please list again the four components of health that you mentioned um just i think we're all we're all wanting to know more today. <laughs> yeah so health means wholeness mm -hmm. restoration of wholeness the four components needed number one is the physician or vaidya or bishop or the doctor number two is dravya dravya means the herbal preparations or medicaments number three attendant that means the, the compounder or nurse one who is following the instructions by the physician and infusing to the client very important because it's very important role by the attendant if he is not transferring all that information properly to the client and the whole information got disturbed so the fourth one is patient himself is very important for success of the restoration of balance why if he is not following all that instructions from the physician if he is not taking properly that herb which is recommended to him and also if he is not following the instructions from the attendant then success will not take place that's why when the four people coming together as a nature of unity then it is easy to create restoration of balance maybe that was really beautiful because it shows you know these herbs are powerful but it's also all of these different concepts that you've talked about how all of it together is what's creating that success. Um, we're having yeah. so many people ask questions. Uh, someone's asking um, where you are connecting from. Um, Baiji right now is in India. He'll be coming to the Los Angeles Center soon. So that's very exciting for all of us. Oh, um, and, and we are in Fairfield, Iowa right now. Um, and go ahead and then uh, I will just, I'll keep, I'm, keep I'm responding a little bit, okay. but I'll keep going with your sure. question. And then Reiji, also um, when we've been talking about herbs, another one that's very popular is turmeric, which is that yellow powder many of you have seen. Um, it's been found in lattes. There's even a very famous company uh, that serves turmeric lattes. Can you talk a little bit about turmeric and its, and its uses and how best to use it also, Reiji? Turmeric is a very auspicious herb. Mm -hmm. It is called Mangala Dravyam. Mangala Dravyam. Mangala means auspicious substance. Keeping turmeric even at home, which creates auspicious nature to the home. And keeping uh, turmeric, taking turmeric internally also creates the auspicious quality. The, the predominant quality of turmeric is purifying nature purifying what purifying the blood balancing the blood and liver and also good complexion and good for digestion and it is antioxidant anti-inflammatory and also balancing joint issues balancing metabolism good for blood, joints, skin, complexion, liver. More than 3,000 studies, empirical studies, has been done on turmeric. See, it is getting very popular and also used widely by the medical doctors in their practice. The great quality of turmeric has shown very beneficial effects anti-tumor effects. Even oncology physicians or medical 
doctors or surgeons for prescribing turmeric because they have seen some beneficial effect. Mm. So that's why turmeric is a, not only a golden spice, an auspicious spice regularly used in the food in the Southeast Asian countries. Very commonly used, regularly used. And the most important another benefit of turmeric is Garavishaharam. Garavishaharam means any toxicity coming from environment or from outside into the physiology, and it eliminates that. Krimignam. Krimignam means that which eliminates the parasites. Micro to the macro. Oh, so lot of benefits like this. Turmeric is a very natural and regular use of spice in Asian cuisine, especially Indian cuisine. Without turmeric, there is no food. And without turmeric, there is no house. I, I know that you said without turmeric, there is no help, but I keep thinking there is no house because when I go to most of my friends' homes, like that, that, that is what yeah. they keep in their home. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and again, I, we've had a few, few people ask some questions and I do just want to let you know that, again, we're not offering uh, medical advice here or diagnosing or, or treating anything. If you have a question about a specific medical condition, please do check with your physician. This is for information. And again, Mambi is very big on education and wanting to share the idea of the Ayurvedic lifestyle with people. And I know we only have a couple of minutes left. Um, so maybe if there's one last question, Beji, we only have maybe two or three minutes left. Yeah, probably but like just one and a half. <laughs> Just one last question. You know, we've talked so much, you've talked so much, shared with us this wealth of knowledge on the benefits of all of these beautiful pockets of intelligence. Um, could you just share, you know, for health and wellness, if there's just even one thing that an individual can do to maintain overall immunity, what would you recommend, AG? Being, being is the most important principle for immunity. Being. The experience of consciousness. The field of consciousness is the source of absolute immunity. And the experience of immunity means I am in unity. I am in unity means you are in state of being. That being is the state which infuses the quality of distinguish and deciding nature. The distinguish deciding nature between self and non-self. That quality is from the field of justice from the house of justice, from the house of memory of the field of consciousness. If one is experiencing, one is being in the state, one can experience that great immunity that is the unity of mind, body, environment. And this immunity is three types, natural and also acquired and also timely, this immunity. These three types of immunities, we can discuss another class. <laughs> Good. We, we need to schedule another brunch. Uh, again, thank you so much, Faija. Hey, Gigi, that was so beautiful, especially, you know, I am in unity. That is the most, what you said is absolutely beautiful for everybody. You know, you take immunity and you've just expanded it to the most beautiful value of fullness. Thank you so much, Baby G, for, for allowing us to, to be with you and answer all of these questions. Thank you, Dr. Shankar, and also <laughs> I'm going to be a doctor soon, uh, Dr. Shang. Thank and, you. Uh, thank you for giving this opportunity and to the Mappy and everyone. I wish um, all perfect health to all the participants. Jai Gurudev. Thank you, Baby G. Uh, again, uh, thank you so much. And again, just being, you know, being together. Thank you for being with us. Please, uh, you know, do take care of yourself. We will have a transcript of this as well as a replay on the YouTube channel on Moppy with the captions if there was anything that you missed. Uh, join us. You can go to moppy.com and sign up for next week's brunch. I'll be in the kitchen uh, cooking with uh, Ayurvedic chef Lakshmi. We are going to go through a recipe. We will provide you with the recipe and also the, the tips, the the feeling and the science really behind Ayurveda, but also the love that goes into Ayurvedic cooking. Beautiful. So again, with much love from us. And again, uh, thank you to Moppy. Again, the America's oldest Ayurvedic 
uh, wellness place, but you can find more information about all the things we mentioned, I think, really, on the website. On the website, everything is there. And thank you again to Vaidhi Manohar for being with us today and for all of you for joining and for your beautiful questions, which we'll be answering. Yes. And again, we will forward those to our team and they'll get back with you if we didn't get to you today. Signing off for this week's brunch. We'll see you for the next ones.